Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So right here you can see that oops that I made here and it's filled with CA glue. Now that is filled not really flush flush. It's got a little bit of a dip to it. But as you can see here, it's not a fake. I actually screwed up. And it's nice and straight, flush, masked off ready to be well ready to be sprayed so let me get my camera up in the air over here get a little bit of an aerial shot of what's going on how i'm doing things here and hopefully that's good let's scoot this back a little bit i got the body masked off shouldn't get no overspray over anything let's see how this works out so what i need to do first is i need to grab some heavier tape, some thicker tape, once I get it off the roll, if I can, where did it mess up here? And what this is, is just a heavy masking tape that I'm going to use here once I get this off the damn roll. There you go. And what I want to do is create A rolled up piece of tape and I'll explain why once I get this in place so what I want to do is I want to take this rolled piece of tape and I'm going to put it right here on one side of the damaged area and we get another piece of rolled tape And the reason why I'm going with a heavier masking tape because I want to make a large roll wider than the area. I'm move this over just a little bit. Now I need to cover these two sides here. So I'll get my regular masking tape. And just butt it up against underneath here. Cut that a little straighter. That's better. Get that as close as I can. Cover that area. Use this little piece to cover this spot right here. Roll this back a little bit. Making sure that this is still rounded and tucked under. And the reason for that is when I dust paint over here, I'm not going to have a real hard tape line. on each side of the damaged area. Now I have to go over this with quite a few different colors of paint. Not that big of a deal. All right, I got my exhaust fan on. That's exhausted outside. And the first paint that I gotta put on here is what's called diamond black, or black diamond. Black diamond is what's called. And when I do this, Make sure the tip is clean. There you go. What I want to do is just dust this. The tip is not clean. There you go. Let that dry and then go back and hit it again. The more times I kind of hit it, I want to turn this nozzle because this nozzle I need to spray in a different direction here when I hold this. So I need to spray it this way. There. So I'll let that dry a little bit and then come back to it, hit it again, kind of build up to where that disappears. I don't want to hit it at one time because it's going to be too much paint all in one shot. And then after that dries, it'll also dry quicker if you missed it instead of piling it on. So like I said, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again. All right, so I'm 
pretty much dry to the touch here. Don't even see the damage anymore. If I were to just put some straight tape on each side over here, like I did on the bottom, this bottom part I could sand out with no problems. It's on the edge of the body, so you're really not going to notice it, and the damage doesn't come all the way to the edge. So that'll sand out with no problems. But on the top over here, with that roll piece of tape, you don't have real straight fine line edges it's kind of fogged in a little bit that is going to help me feather in the edges and wet sand this thing a lot easier so i can go with the silver and the lace now all right so i found my piece of lace that i'm needing to put in this area got stretched out a little bit same thing with the rolled pieces of tape now i want to dust that with the silver and let it sit for a bit come back again and take a look at it i might have to hit it with a little bit more silver but if not a little bit of wet sanding and i can hit it with the green all right so that it's about three very light coats of the silver and as you can kind of see my work area is getting wider and wider the reason for that because I have to blend this in after I put the clear on that's even going to make it a little bit wider and I have to blend it in and I still have to use the rolled up tape so I have something to feather sand now I got to turn this nozzle too I got to turn it back when I get done with it because the now what I mean by turn the nozzle these have a fan spray when I have it set to where it is vertical right now uh, I have a pattern that comes out this way when I hold the can like this. If I turn it back the way it was, the spray comes out this way, and I don't want that because I don't want to get underneath the tape that I got. So go ahead and hit this a few times. Some light coats. And I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to hit it again until it gets about as dark as the edges are and I'll be able to blend that in with wet sanding. Alright, she looks pretty good. Not too bad. Now you have to understand that the body has a clear coat on it. This does not have a clear coat on it so it doesn't look dull. It's sprayed right out of the can. Now once that it dries, I'll be able to blend it in with wet sanding and hit it with some clear doing the same process with the rolled tape so I don't build up a nice solid tape line and I can smooth it in with buffing. Not bad. The whole thing kind of matched up pretty good with the webbing or lace, whatever you want to call it. And well, just let it try now.